Here I have an Apple Genuine Lightning 2 SD memory card reader for the iPad. And unfortunately, this is not designed for the iPod Touch or the iPhone, according to Apple, because those devices just don't support the power consumption from this SD card reader. So many people have bought this hoping that they will be able to transfer files such as images and videos from an SD card to the iPad. Unfortunately, many of them are disappointed when they realize they have trouble transferring, especially video files, from the SD card through this adapter to the iPad. Now, I have an iPad Mini 2, and I was initially having problem transferring video files too. So here I have some video files loaded in various formats from VGA resolution AVI to 720p half HD MPEG videos encoded in various data rate anywhere from 2 megabits per second to 5 megabits per second. So here I'm going to insert this SD card into this camera connection adapter, the SD card reader, and insert it into the lightning port here. And when, as soon as inserted, the iPad should detect it. And in fact, you can see it here. It shows import or importazione in the local file language, local language setting. And you can see the content of this SD card has only one photo. In fact, I have only put one photo on this SD card for the purpose of demonstration, along with several other video. But as you can see here, none of the video show in the import screen. And I have only one photo that I can click on to import. So where are my videos? That is the question. And it was quite frustrating to figure out why the other videos wouldn't show up even if they are encoded in the correct format that is supported according to the specification of this iPad mini. And upon further thinking, I realized that the video files that are recorded straight out of the camera such as those VGA resolution AVI files somehow show up when I connect them to the iPad. But my own files, even though they're recorded and encoded in the supported codec, they're not somehow showing up when I'm importing them. And the reason for that is quite simple. It lies in the backward compatibility in the file name used by most digital cameras because this device is designed to work with SD cards uh, with files created straight out of the digital camera so there is a hidden I wouldn't say feature but hidden way that you can make your own files to be supported by this device and that is the 8.3 file name convention. And the 8.3 file convention is essentially a carryover from the old DOS day when you had eight characters plus a dot plus a three character extension. So it would be something like file name dot JPEG, file name dot AVI, file name dot MP4. And once I renamed those files, in the 8.3 file name convention, they started to show up in the uh, import screen. So let me show you that just in a moment here. So this is what I mean by the 8.3 file name convention. So here, for example, we have this file called babycleaning.mp4. And even though the video is encoded in a format that's supported by the iPad, it's not recognized when I plug in the SD card to the iPad in the import screen. So instead of having a long name such as babycleaning.mp4, 
I make it less or equal to 8 characters before the dot and keep the 3 character extension. So now it becomes cleaning dot and p4. And then you will see when I transfer this, when I connect the SD card to the, uh, to the iPad, it will show up on the screen. Another important point to mention is that you should create a folder called the DCIM to emulate the file storage structure used by most digital cameras. And most digital cameras, including you know, your, your phone, stores the images under the DCIM folder. So put everything there and you should be able to see them if they are named correctly. So now I have renamed the files into the 8.3 file name convention. I'm going to insert the SD card again to see how many videos that I copied on the SD card will show up on the import screen. So here, let me go to the import screen here. And you can see I have all these videos here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so now I can import them Actually, no, this is not an eighth video, this is a picture. And you can see some of these with the green marks, I already imported them earlier. So let's um, just, you know, for the sake of... Demonstration here, I will import all the selected items. So it looks like it's going to take a little bit of time because for some of the video, the iPad will have to encode them as it tries to import them. And other videos such as those already encoded in the H.264 format, the iPad can just copy it directly without having to import it further or convert it to its own codec. And here, this video is the one that I renamed to cleaning.mp4 instead of baby cleaning.mp4. And after importing, the iPad will ask you if you want to eliminate the files you just imported or keep them. So I choose to keep them. And then I go back to photo. So here you will see I have the video that I imported today. And one of them is a beep baby cleaning video, which is this one, and so now you can see the iPad successfully imported this video from my SD card. However, I copied more video than these that are imported here. Some of them are not supported by the iPad. And from reading the specification of the iPad Mini 2 on the Apple website, it's supposed to support H.264 video up to 1080p, 60 frames per second, and high level profile 4.2 with AAC LC audio up to 164 kilobits per second, and so forth. And then MPEG-4 video up to 2.5 megabits per second, 640 by 480 pixels. So that's VGA resolution. And I had some MPEG-4 files that are 720p, so they didn't show up, and that explains why. However, the AVIs are supported up to, let's see, uh, I think 1280 by 720 up to 35 megabits per second, 30 frames per second. And I had some AVIs here that are VGA resolution and they show up here. For example, this one's an AVI file and it showed up without a problem. And this is an old file taken back in 2008 or 2009 and it's a low resolution VGA file, VGA AVI file. So here, it solves the problem of copying your own video files that are, that are not directly created on the SD card. Just make sure you name them 
with the 8.3 file name convention and encode them in the supported video formats by your device. Uh, another thing, it seems like the SD card data transfer is one direction. That means you can only copy from the SD card to your iPad. It doesn't seem like by default the iPad could copy something to the SD card using the existing application such as the photo and the video. I mean there are programs that allow you to copy and use the SD card as an external storage but you have to pay for them or do some you know modification or download them but if you don't want to do anything extra and if you just want to play video from your SD card this is the easiest solution.